fantastic. Well, I think that deserves another round of applause. That was fantastic. Good I stood this day six years ago, also doing the talent show, but for something drastically different. I was dancing to an Indian song that went a bit like... <laughs> yeah, well, I decided to do something different. This is my last year in the school, so I thought, why not do the talent show again? But the funny thing is, the real joke here is that I'm the only non-musical act here. And so my, my house actually has to rely on me. So we're not, I don't know how that's gonna turn out. <laughs> so, it doesn't say what I'm doing here. It's pretty straightforward. I'm actually here to just make some uh, comedy, make you guys laugh. Uh, how do you think that's gonna go out? Uh, these guys are gonna come in later with some random puns. Don't laugh to that, because that's terrible. <laughs> well, you, you'll find out soon. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so um, I'm here to talk about my life experiences here, okay? Ooh. Experiences here in school with teachers. Now, every teacher I'm talking about here, they're, they're awesome teachers, they're amazing. So please don't bring my grades down when I make fun of you. <laughs> uh, so who has Mr. Cozy for math here? Amazing, okay. I, I, I love math because it's an intuitive subject and plus I'm Indian. Um, I was like because of Mr. Cozy. Is such an amazing teacher. The way he teaches is fantastic. So I'm in class, right? I have a question. I'm like, uh, Mr. Cozy, how, how do I do this question? I don't understand. He takes it, he's like, You foolish boy, you don't have the question. Again, go, go. And so I do. I go, I go, look at the question. It's still the same thing. I have no idea what the hell this is. So I'm like, Mr. Cozy, I, I don't understand. What do I do next? He's like, hey, you foolish boy, look over here. Come, I show you. He shows it to me. Oh boy, I'm fine, I'm happy. I know how to do it now. I sit down and uh, this happens. It's uh, Tushar's birthday, it's, it's a classmate of mine. It's his birthday today, he's turning 18. And so someone in the class, they're like, oh, it's Tushar's birthday today. And Mr. Kozi goes to me, he's like, hey, how old are you turning today? <laughs> 18, sir. 18! <laughs> hey, you gotta can go to jail now, you know. You can't do it. <laughs> you, you should have seen Tushar's face. He was just like, <laughs> He was so confused, what am I supposed to say now? <laughs> he just does kind of random stuff like this, you know? And it's very interesting because it makes us think, you know? It actually, actually makes us uh, go on the spot and do some stuff. And it's very interesting, and Mr. Jurox does the same thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was in ESS class, you know, uh, ESS, Environmental Systems and Societies, it's an IB, it's an amazing course. We were doing our internal assessment, which is like a coursework worth a percentage of our final grade, very important stuff. And so when we were doing that in class, we had a whole class for it, like a whole lesson for it. And so we were sitting down, I was minding my own business, I was doing my work, and a part of my internal assessment is something called a bipolar analysis, which is basically um, analyzing something with two sets of data. It's quite straightforward. But I was doing that work, and Mr. Jurek likes to sit down, he likes to uh, facilitate this. He walks around, he goes to that area in this room, he's in the basin area, out of nowhere. Audrey! So, I'm so scared now. What did I do? I don't know what the hell I did. I'm, I'm like, he's like, uh, uh, Arvin, uh, are you bipolar, me? <laughs> I have no idea. I was actually thinking, am I bipolar? Is that bipolar? <laughs> oh my goodness. And he's like, I'm just joking, man. Just joking, it's alright. <laughs> and that's so scary, because like, out of nowhere, he's just asking me if I was bipolar. And then he asked me, uh, you do know what bipolar means, right? <laughs> yes, I do. <sighs> yeah. Amazing stuff. I actually, uh, that's, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, see, I, I haven't, I'm done, I haven't had any jokes yet, and still people are laughing over there. Thank you very much. I, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Um, it's been a very interesting term, I have to say, and all of us are really tired and looking very excited to leave school tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow. 
Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, so today I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to make fun of teachers. Uh, I would like to say this before I start. You guys are amazing. I'm not sure you're coding it, but don't reduce like your grades because of this. It's just a very, very you know, like a fun stuff. Anyway, um, uh, all right. Who loves math? <laughs> Trust me, I predicted that. It's fine. It's probably my Indian genes that are. Um, anyway, I, I like that because it's an intuitive subject, and um, because of my teacher. I have Mr. Rikosi. You asked Mr. Rikosi. Uh, amazing guy. Still. Now, I said this joke before to my year 13 uh, 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 friends, classmates, and uh, they really liked it, and it was quite special. I gave them a trailer. I'm giving you guys the full feature film. This is a very, uh, very interesting moment for me because every time in class, in math, man, Mr. Cozy does some really weird stuff, random stuff. And it's good, and I'm saying this is good because it makes us think. As, uh, as, as students, it makes us think twice, not only math, but makes us think about life and stuff. And uh, I remember this one time I was in math class, right? We were sitting down, we were doing work, we are minding our own business. I had a question. I was doing questions, and I had no idea what this question meant. I was like, man, this is hard. So I went to him, uh, Mr. Cozy, I have a question. I showed him the question. So he took the paper and he looked at the question. <laughs> 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 Foolish boy! <laughs> did it again, go read it again, go. I did, I went down, looked at it again, still makes no sense to me. <sighs> Mr. Cozy, I, I'm sorry, I, I actually don't understand this, please help me. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine, okay, okay. He tells me, he helps me, fine. The lesson's going on, it's normal. I'm doing my questions, everyone else is doing their questions. Turns out today was uh, was a birthday. Um, it was someone's birthday. It was Tushar's birthday. Where's Tushar at? <laughs> and um, so, you know, the classmates they were like, oh, today is Tushar's birthday. And Mr. Kozi was like, eh, hey, how old are you today? <laughs> 18. 18! <laughs> you are legally allowed to go to jail. <laughs> just to keep us thinking, and I absolutely love the way he teaches, it's amazing. And the same goes to Mr. Jurok. <laughs> is he here? Oh, he is? Oh boy. Uh, I love you, sir! No homo! Uh, anyway, so, uh, there we go. I was, in, I was in ESS class, we were doing our internal assessment, very important stuff. Uh, and I was, I had, part of my internal assessment is this thing called bipolar analysis, which is because I was doing a survey and stuff like that. And so part of it was for me to look at two different things and, and analyze them. And so I did. I was doing the work, everyone else in the class was doing the work, everyone was silent. We were not messing around with it. We were doing work, we were quiet. Exact same silence. Quiet. And out of nowhere, Mr. Director walks over to the base into that corner. Out of nowhere he says, hey Adrian! Hey, are you bipolar, man? <laughs> this silence is what I was feeling inside. I was like, what am I supposed to say now? Because the first few seconds he said my name, I was like, what the hell did I do? And then he says, am I, and he asks me if I'm bipolar, and I actually question myself. Am I bipolar? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh boy, that day. And then he comes to me, he's just saying, I'm joking, mate. It's all right, yeah. <laughs> joking. And then he asks me, uh, you do know what Babur means. <laughs> yes, I do know what it is. And but he's not the only teacher who's really funny. Mr. Fitzpatrick. Oh. Oh. Amazing teacher as well. We were in physics, right? We were in physics class. We were learning about radioactivity, really fun stuff. And he says something so savage that the whole class went like mad. Basically, we were doing radioactivity. He's talking about where he's from in England, and he was just looking through the map. He was like, okay, so I'm from here. And uh, this is where Mr. Meadows is from. And uh, there's a higher radioactivity here, which is probably why he's bald. <laughs> <laughs> the whole class went mental. <laughs> Did he just say that? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh my goodness. And this, this is how everyday 
lessons in my in my uh, day to day basis. Isn't I love it because all teachers are very cool and very awesome. It's very fun. And um, I'm basically done. But I ha I want to take this opportunity and thank every single teacher who has been working hard this term, especially Mrs. McDonald, who's who's pregnant. She'll be taking a maternity leave next term. Can we all give a round of applause for that? <laughs> 